What is up, everybody? The sun is setting here in Northern California here on this Saturday afternoon. Going out for a nice ride. It's almost 60 degrees here in this uh, third week of January 2018. And it is just perfect. I didn't even bother putting on my cold weather jacket or my cold weather gloves. Uh, and it is just a lovely day. So my wife is always talking to me about ways I can be more safe on my motorcycle. Um, actually, uh, when I ride on longer rides, I'm always wearing this uh, full face helmet. Uh, typically, I like to ride around on a three quarter, but definitely safer here with this full face helmet. Uh, full face helmet. Full face. Full face. Yeah. Definitely safer. Um, some really good reviews by uh, Dan Dan the Fireman on his new helmet search. Uh, and I actually, I think he's going with the uh, Shoei uh, RF1200, I believe. It really got me to think in all the different ways that we can be safer on our motorcycles. Um, I'm sure anyone, any of you who ride know of someone or you, you yourself have uh, been involved in a crash of some sort on your motorcycle and you know it's just it's just something that happens and it's something that we should all be ready for uh, it drives me crazy when I see these videos on on YouTube of guys in their t-shirts and you know shorts doing wheelies and then just biting it and just oh it just kills me to know that those guys you know the the uh you know maybe if they didn't suffer any broken bones they're gonna have a hard time walking and getting pants on or clothes on whenever you get that road rash it's just terrible um but uh not to be a total downer on things but i mean when you talk about safety you definitely have to bring up these kind of things because uh safety should be as i ride around with one hand on the the handlebars uh safety should be always at the forefront of our brains as we ride around on these two wheels much more susceptible than we would be uh, if we were traveling around in these uh, automobiles. But uh, what she did was she showed me this video and I had never heard of these uh, before, um, but it was, it's called the Helite and it's an airbag vest. The Helite airbag vest, um, not only is it gonna help you be more visible because they come in uh, high vis colors um, and uh, highly reflective all, around, all the way around, um, they're gonna help and I've seen a ton of videos already now that I've been researching this uh, saving people's lives um, now I don't want to get too much into it I will throw in a clip right here simply put Helite is an airbag technology company that has developed the fastest mechanically activated airbag system on the planet we have implemented this airbag technology into vests and jackets. Every Helite product you use utilizes this same system. The lanyard connects to the bike at a hard point, ideally at that place where the seat and the tank come into contact with each other. When you're ready to ride, you'll walk up to your motorcycle, you'll click yourself into your lanyard, and you're protected and ready to go. In the event of an accident, it takes about 60 pounds of pressure to deploy the airbag. Another really cool feature of the airbag system is the integrated SASTEC back protector. This is available in all jackets and vests that Helite makes. All of our products are self-serviceable. If you have a deployment, if the airbag goes off, there is no need to have it repacked. That means you don't have to pack up your jacket, send it back to the manufacturer, and wait to get it back before you can wear it again. All it takes is five minutes and this, a replacement cartridge and you're back on the road and safe and protected for your next accident. It's really easy to see that, uh, you know, if you're out riding, especially out on like mountain roads or curvy, uh, like river roads, uh, this is something uh, you want to highly consider, especially at the price point. I believe you can get one for just under $300. Um, now this helmet just cost me just under $300, but it's a nice, uh, you know, it's a DOT certified helmet that's going to save my life likely uh, at least save my brain um, in the event of a crash. Um, but what this, vet, this vest is gonna do is it's going to stabilize your spine and keep you from, uh, hopefully from like paralysis. And I mean, that's something that I always think about, especially when I'm riding out on these, uh, these country roads 
where there's no there's no barriers or anything to keep me from running in if I were to slide off and hit a tree and then my you know or one of these telephone poles uh, and that's just boom snap your back just like that and these uh, these vests they not only come with the airbag uh, they also uh, come with just like you would in any one of the any other protective vest with the, the shell on the back to prevent also prevent you from uh, from back injury um, but a couple of the questions I had immediately when I saw it is that the, if you forget that you're tethered to the bike and you walk off is it gonna deploy the air vest and the answer to that is you're gonna have to give it a pretty good tug before you actually do that um, it takes 40 pounds of pressure for the thing to deploy and uh, that that's a pretty good tug so you're probably not going to just walk away from your bike and have that thing deploy uh, the second thing is is just like an airbag in a car right uh, if it goes off is it a one and done and there you're done with $300 especially if you are in maybe like less than a uh, let's just say you drop your bike that's definitely gonna deploy your vest and for if let's say you dropped your bike and your vest is deployed that's 300 bucks let alone the damage to your bike um, but you can get multi uses out of them I think that they said that you could they can deploy up to seven times before you have to send it back to uh, Helite before and they can inspect it um, make any repairs necessary or before you have to buy a new one um, the uh, vest has a little compartment for the co2 cartridge that you have to put in is which is what fills up the vest um, and you know it's it's less than a like a thousandth of a second I believe it takes to, to the, inflate the entire vest to keep you safe upon impact um, but I, I'm really impressed with this product um, I'd like to, if you if you actually have one or you've used one or want to save your life please 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 leave it in the comments below and let me know Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down there. And if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button right over here. If you want to check out what else is going on, check out one of my other videos over in this direction. Guys, if you're riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. This is that one guy, and I'm out.